Hello, this is Bill from Mission Veterinary Clinic, and I'm going to make a short video here on medical records and the workflow at Mission Veterinary Clinic, how we're going to use medical records and how we're going to make estimates from those paperless medical records within Cornerstone software. So I'm going to jump right into this. I'm going to jump up to the left-hand corner where the clipboard is so we can look up a patient. I'm going to left-click on that. And I am going to open up the client number three, William O'Leary, so three and tab. And then I'm going to go to the right side of the patient list. I'm going to expand that list. Left click on test five. That is the patient we will be using today, test five. I'm going to right click on test five and go down to medical note. Now here I already have two medical notes to choose from. These are templates, exam one, exam two, and tech note. I want to use exam one. It is pre-populated here for me because it's in my favorites. But let's pretend it's not pre-populated there or it's not in your favorites. How would you find it? You would go to all medical notes. This window would up. You would enter your staff ID, whatever that happens to be, minus 25. Oop. Minus 25. Then you'd come down here to category, all categories. We're going to hit the drop down. We're going to scroll down to MVC Medical Records for Mission Veterinary Clinic Medical Records. Now, everything in that folder, Mission Veterinary Clinic Medical Records, has populated down here in this small little list. And Exam 1 MVC is already highlighted. So I can either click OK now, or I can double click on Exam 1 MVC. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and it's going to open that medical record for me. It's asking for the technician's name, which my name is Bill, so it knows who's doing this. And it's letting me know some medications that are, this pet is already on. It's asking me if I want to add those to the existing medical record. I do not. I'm going to hit cancel. Now, HX description, this is actually important. I'm going to drag this a little over to the right. HX description, what you write here, populates over here onto the patient clipboard under summary. So when we finish, it's going to say exam one and then whatever we write for HX description. So I'm going to write laceration on right rear leg. Okay, then I'm going to come down here, just like the client um, uh, technicians do now. What is the owner's reason for visit? Why are you here? Well, we already know that laceration on right rear leg, and then any other per, um, pertinent data like uh, was in dogfight. Okay, um, what are the problems your experience, the pet's experience? We're going to add problem description. Okay, problem description is important that we use this drop down because this actually will come over here to problems on the left. It will populate in that problems list. We're finished. We'll go look at that problems list. We're going to click here. Going to come here and double click and type laceration. And of course, these lists are editable. So as you're working, the technicians need to keep me updated on what they want changed in this list and added to it. But I'm going to choose laceration. It's already an active problem because I've been working with this patient um, practicing. So do you want to add another occurrence? Yes, I do. I'm going to click OK. And then we're going to continue asking the clients, when did this problem start? Well, it happened about two hours ago. Um, is the problem the same, better, or worse? Well, it's the same. It's only been two hours. Has the problem happened in the past? No. Medications being missing? Uh, yes, owner gave Advil. Is pet current uh, feeding schedule? Well, they feed twice a day. Dry food. Eating changes? No, same. Has your pet been vaccinated recently? No. Any weight loss? No. Decrease in water consumption? No. Changes in bowel movements? No. Exposure to toxins? No. Any other medical history? No. Okay. Um, then add vital signs. We're going to click on here. And we're going to click enter weight. 
double click on it. Uh, let's say we weigh 25 pounds and the body score, let's say we're a little bit overweight. Enter temperature, one, two, oh, sorry, 102.5. Enter appetite, it's normal. Enter mucous membrane, pink. CRT, two seconds. Um, enter an alert, uh, the attitude, how alert is the pet. Uh, BAR, bright, alert, responsive. Dentistry, what do those teeth look like? Oh, we've got a little bit of plaque there. They're significant. Respiratory rate, I'm not going to take the respiratory rate. I'm not that good, but you can. Um, you, urine output, feces outfit. I've kind of already asked these questions. You don't need to ask, ask them twice. Enter pulse. Um, you know, we'll skip over that. And enter blood glucose. We can skip over that. We're not going to do those today. Click OK, let it load, click OK again. Now it's entering all those vital signs in here into the medical record for us. You're going to go here and as the technician, any of these questions you're comfortable ex answering, you're going to answer. If you're not comfortable answering any of them, then just click did not examine. Nose, throat, normal, eyes, ears, normal, um, lymph nodes. I probably wouldn't examine this nervous system did not examine, skeletal did not examine, GI tract did not examine, but every technician's different in their ability and what they're comfortable with. And it's still the doctor's job to go modify these to his or her um, results. Mouth, teeth, gums, normal. Coat and skin, well, um, has a laceration. I'm gonna skip over that. Uh, legs, paws, back, normal. I'll skip over that too. Okay, or did not examine, did not examine. Let the doctor look at these. Did not examine, perennial. You do your comfort level. Come down here to add diagnosis description, assessment plan. So everything beyond assessment and plan belongs to the doctor. Okay, you don't touch this. So at this point, if you're in the room, you're gonna save this, click OK. You're gonna control L out of the screen, control L, and you're gonna leave, okay? The doctor is gonna come back in. He's gonna take a look at the pet, probably go to his desk or go to treatment, control L back, find this exam one MC tentative laceration, and he's gonna left click on it and double click. And it's gonna open. And then he's gonna start his notes, starting with diagnosis description. He's gonna click on there, double click, Okay, and we're gonna, let's see if I can, laceration of skin. Okay, and select, click okay. Now, I'm gonna scoot this window over a little bit, show you something, if I can grab on it. So, DX tab here, that is gonna populate into this DX tab and make it easier for you to find next time. Okay, so now we have a diagnostic plan. His plan is probably to do some x-rays. Uh, he might do a blood panel, so probably a total, total body function. And then for a treatment plan, um, we're gonna need to give some injections, some pain, some antibiotics, so times four injections, probably do some anesthesia, um, laceration surgery. Come down here, there'll probably be a um, IV catheter, catheter, some fluids, and an extension, Pro probably be an e-collar, and maybe a pharmacy, arm times three, okay? Now he'll go through and write that up, and he'll save this or he'll turn it over to you at the same computer. Let's say he's back at his desk, he's gonna save this, click OK. Then you're gonna to go to whatever computer you're at and maybe you'll just take over from whatever that is. Once again, you're gonna double click on this laceration of the right rear leg. You're gonna open it. This time, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit to where you can read his notes. 
And now while looking at these notes, you're going to go to the patient in blue. You're going to right click and you're going to go estimate. You're going to tab, tab, drag that over. Let's minimize this. So they're side by side. And now we're going to start building an estimate. I'll just call walk in, tab. And what's next? Some x rays. So x2, tab. And total body function. I don't know the short code for that. Okay. And let's see, we got injections. And then we've got how many injections down? Four. So I'm going to put in a range of four to six. So if we go over, it's always good to put a range in. Anesthesia. And then surgery, laceration. And then we're going to go with some pharmacy. Oh, IV catheter, almost missed that. But, but having the windows side by side makes this job very easy. Um, it might be even easier than looking down at a chart. I, I think you'll like it more once you start using it because um, you're just staring at the screen side by side. Um, pharmacy. Oop. Pharmacy. He has three, so I'm going to put three to four. And also an e collar. And it's the e collar bundle. So by putting in ranges, um, it creates us some give on the estimate, okay, and some selling power on the estimate. Uh, so now at that point, if I'm outside the exam room, I need to close this. So I'm going to save this, click OK. I could choose to print this if I want or just to save it. I'm going to click OK. Staff ID is required. Ah. I forget this every time. So we need to put Gramani or Lee, depending on who it is. G U R G U R G U R. Okay, I'm gonna click OK. And just save and continue, because I'm not in the exam room. If I want to print a copy to take into the client, I can. If I don't, I don't. It's completely up to you. That may depend on uh, on the client. You'll have to read them. Let's say I, I, I do or I don't. Doesn't matter. Click OK. I'm going to close this. I'm going to leave this workstation. I'm going to go into the client into the exam room. I'm going to reopen this client. Go to this um, estimate right here. I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to open the estimate. From there, I'm going to click OK, Preview, and I'm going to ask the client, I'm going to explain the estimate and ask the client to sign it. Now, I'm not a, at a signature pad, so I can't click OK and finish this. Um, I don't have a choice. So I'm just going to close this now. Now I have a signature. Well, let's go ahead and finalize it, actually, just so you can see it. So click OK, Save and Continue. Print estimate, no, I don't need to do that. Um, click OK. And if I get a signature, it will auto, if on the signature pad, it will auto finalize. OK, right now it says tentative. It still needs to be, the, the record shows tentative. The estimate over here does not have an F, so it's not finalized. If it was finalized, if they had signed on the signature pad, I'm going to click Finalize, Save and Continue. Yes, let's transfer everything to the patient visit list. It's creating a lab request for that total body function and an image request for those x-rays. 
Let's close that because we really don't want to create those. Normally you would not close it though. And now you see an F that that is finalized and it has been kicked from the estimate to the PVL because now the animal's in the back and we're working on it. Now earlier we talked a little bit about here's our medical record, tentative. Here is our medical record, it's tentative so the doctor can still open it and edit it. In diagnosis, we see laceration of skin and in problems, we see our laceration and in vital signs, we see all the vital signs that we've taken on this patient. Okay. So that is everything. That is how you're going to go through the walkthrough from that point as far as your PVL to the estimate, to the invoice, it will be the same. You leave everything in the PVL until it is basically time to check out. Before it's time to check out, you'll need to change pharmacy to the actual medications they are. Okay. And you'll change injections to the actual injections they are. Put a discount in if necessary. On the very final lines, you can add things under the office category. So we can go to the office category, office miscellaneous, and we might add think something like keep e color on at all times. We can go to this one and add something. Sorry, let's go back to the office miscellaneous. There it is. Or um, we could create a callback at a certain day to call this client to check on the pet. Um, we could thank them for being a loyal customer. Our tender loving care, no charge. And then the very last thing is in the blue line, we're going to put R, excuse me, RTG, ready to go. Now, when the receptionist sees RTG, that means they can charge out. They should not charge out until they see RTG. We will click OK. And now at any point in time, the receptionist can grab this invoice and finalize it. So I hope that workflow was helpful for you. Um, you should all practice it a little bit and take a look at some of these screens. A couple of them are new to you, uh, but I'm very excited about the whole paperless, paper light movement. Thank you very much.